All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, figure 5-102, page 128. Multi-view drawings. All right, so we're going to start off. Your whole block is 7 and 7 eighths or 7.875. The width of this block is 3 and a quarter or 3.25. The height of this little landing here is 3 fourths or 0.75. You get a, the height here, 2 and 5 eighths or 2.625. You got your angle here. The top, the landing spot here is 3 eighths of an inch or 0.375. You got from this point to this point here, two and three quarters, it's, or 2.75, and then another three eighths on this side. The center part of this is a half inch wide, and it's a quarter inch deep. The angle sides here are 45 degrees. Then we come over here. From the center of this, you got a one and three quarter inch slot. The inner circle is three quarter inch. The outer circle is one and a half. And you got a one and a quarter inch radius or one quarter inch raised lip here. And so let's go ahead and go to our drawing. And today's drawing, I've already got it partially drawn. This is my second recording. So I wasn't going to go back and do the whole drawing again just to do this. All right. So basically, what I did was came in here, did my construction line. I'll set this. First line, quarter of an inch, or three quarters of an inch. Then I'll set another one, two and three quarters of an inch. Let's go back and make sure that's the right length. Two and five eighths, excuse me. 2.625. I'll set it 2.625. And then I went to the top level here, which is 2.625. And here is a quarter of an inch. And I came over here, three eighths of an inch. Offset this line. That was this line here was offset three eighths of an inch. Then offset this line here, the whole width of this, which is three eighths plus three eighths plus two and three quarters. And so that whole width, when you add that up, you get that whole rectangular shape here, where you can just count off three eighths and go over. Two and three quarters from that line, from this line to this line, three eighths again. That's basically what I did. So I ended up here. Now, this is the end of my rectangular shape here. This line here brings this lip down that you create here. All right. We come all the way to the end. And so basically, you finish with a front view, except for drawing in your angles. Those are 45 degrees. And so let's go to your top view. I'll set this line here about four inches up. Now, I'll set that again, the width of this, which was three and a quarter. And then I found my geometric center and then I measured half to, half the distance of the slot this way, half the distance this way to find my, find my center of my slot. All right. So all these lines here, you could actually take them straight up. You bring these lines straight over, and basically, you end up, it's a really easy construction once you get your construction lines in there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my object lines to show you what my object lines look like. Now, there is one line I need to finish up here, though. My one object line that I forgot to do is right here. Oop. Don't have my object line layer on. I don't want to change the color. I just want to go to change my layer. And 
and then I'm going to go my line tool again. Then I need to add my rounds here, my rounds here, my rounds here. Basically, all I did was created a circle. My circle shapes were a quarter inch. Oh, excuse me. I did a quarter inch, and then I did a one eighth inch radius circle, and then I use my tangent snaps to make those put those in place and then I went back and I put my object lines on my hidden lines in there because your hidden lines for your shapes because this gets carried over because this this bottom line here gets carried over that needs to come down a little bit, I believe. I did have to make some adjustments on that when I drew it out originally. And because this line here, I did not draw my shapes far enough apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this line, this, this hidden line here, down using that that snap all right now that's my line that's my hidden line so that's showing the bottom of this shape here all right so you can see this line here was actually a mistake as well so I can delete that one now so you just don't even see that so then I created my shapes here I created my arcs put my tangent lines in there. My inner arcs here, my tangent lines here, and uh, I go back and add my center lines in there because you got to be able to show your center lines for every circular shape. Then I need to take this out because that was that's what I used to instead of having to do two center lines, I just did one and then. Mirrored it. Yep. Need to go up and over. There we go. And that way there's they look similar then i can go back here turn on my dimension lines turn off my construction line layer i'm going to turn off the current layer make my dimension lines my layer of choice one and three quarters Three quarter inch diameter, it's so the inside diameter. Diameter is one and a half for the outside. Three eighths, two and three quarters, three eighths, 45 degrees, one half, one quarter inch deep, one quarter inch radius there, one eighth inch radius is on, on the inside pockets of your slot. And there's your hole coming down through there. All right. There's your hole coming down through there again. The one and one and one half is not technically a circle going all the way through, but to the outside of your lip for your slot. Your overall dimension on this whole shape is seven and seven eighths, two and th three and a half. And so that is 